Welcome back. I'm Shaq. We got ourselves another video. Anton made a group of women on the panel freak out again. It wasn't like a, like, I'm going to beat you up, freak out. It's more like a, what? What are you talking about, freak out? It was that kind of freak out, if you catch my drift. If I can be honest with y'all, it makes me uncomfortable how bad certain people and I really, I, I mean it when I say certain, how bad certain people really want to send little people to the upper room. When Jesus. It's, it's disturbing to me, but you know, I, I, I just want to give my two cents right there. And if y'all really wondering, I got me another one. Oh yeah, I brought it back. But this kind is tea lemonade flavor. I think it got lemons in it. I'm gonna have a good time drinking this one or watch this video. And it's got agave in it. I have no idea what that is, but I'm drinking it. But well, hold up, you just hitting this video, need to hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. And in the comment section, give me a thumbs up or a heart just to let me know that it's real. But let's waste no more time. Let's drink our agave and roll the clip. I might be saying that wrong. Could you guys ever date someone who does not align with your point of view when it comes to politics? XL? I could date somebody as long as their views aren't extreme. Okay. When it become extreme, it's going to drive a wedge between our household. Because what is important to me, honestly, should be important to you. Like right now in this climate, women's rights is important to me. Right. I should be able to have control over my body. So to have a mate who telling me like, nah, that don't matter. You shouldn't be able to have... Like that would drive me insane. So I could do it, but once it go extreme, I can't do it no more. I that's, feel you. That's <laughs> what, what's it say? Thank you. He said the same thing as me. That's wild to hear. Because you don't have no control over your body when you're married. Mm. That's out the window. What? Well, 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 well first Stop of all, it. hold on, hold on. Stop. No, let's just be for real. First of all, the man is the head of the household. I don't okay. believe in no partnerships. I don't believe in none of that. It's God, man, woman, child. Uh -huh. And so, first of all, she got to get on his page. I don't believe in all of that. You know, you do your own thing. We unequally yoke. That's even, the whole idea. Even when it comes to politics? Yoke. Everything. So, well, okay, so hear me out. Here we go. Question. If, if I see a woman that is voting different than her man, uh -huh. I know that he don't have no control. He don't have no household. leadership. I, now, as much as we don't want to agree with that, I will. I do agree with that. I do think that that. But that's why I couldn't date somebody that didn't have the same political alignment as me. Because I think that if you're not aligned in your household, there is a lack of leadership somewhere. Krista, what you think? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not really big on politics. I'm just starting to really learn about politics because the way that I grew up and the way that my life moved, politics wasn't important to me. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So now that I'm at a stage where all of that is starting to matter, the tax bracket, the figuring this out and how the government is actually working for me or against me, it, it, it matters a little bit more, but I have a lot of learning to do. So in, at this point in time, like he's a 10, but he's a Republican. It kind of will go over my head because, like I said, politics is not something that I'm strongly into. OK, so what if I said he's a 10, but he's voting for Trump? My twin brother is voting for Trump. Oh, OK. Wait, what does that mean? Are people trying to act like Trump is his own party. That's like me saying she's a dime, but she's voting for Kamala. Because we all know that lady is a liar. She is a, a cold faced liar. Jesus, she lies. Lied about listening to Tupac. I think Tupac was like 13 or 14 when she was in college. Oh boy, she lied about a lot of things, yo. A lot of things. She's that little girl getting off the bus. Really? I'm so happy we have Judge Joe Brown. So, so yeah so it's like we have differences in opinions i just had like as far as that being my twin brother you yeah. know brother period i just i respect where he coming from but it's a debate you know people have different feelings about how they look at things and he's a black man yeah. and i guess from the way he's lived life he feel like 
Trump is is his choice, you know. Can I and, piggyback back off something he said? Yeah, I, oh, I was I was gonna get back to it. Okay. You know, I was going back to <laughs> okay. it. He said some he said some ish. He did. But yeah, let's you can I'm you can absolutely you piggyback. <laughs> what did he say that you want to piggyback off of? So here is a fact. We are not the same people that we were five years ago. We're not the same mm -hmm. people that we were five minutes ago. You should be evolving and changing. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. At y'all age, most individuals are, they don't change. I don't know why everybody keeps saying that, saying that thing. That's not true. You are the same person. Unless y'all talking about physically, you got more wrinkles. So even in marriage, regardless of what type of relationship that you have, my views may change. So at that point, do we divorce? What? No, you're supposed to be growing together, though. True. And, but some people don't. <clears throat> That's too damn bad! So as my views change, and or maybe we haven't gotten there yet. Because may if... maybe we can grow together, but we're starting to realize that my view is different from yours. Sometimes it takes a little counsel and a little intervention to come in and mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, this is what's happening. You guys are growing apart. How do we get it back? Who are you listening to besides your husband? Well... We're waiting. How, how are y'all two drifting apart like that? Who are you listening to besides your husband? That's my question. You going out doing something on your own. You ain't even. What is this? This is why. N never mind. Never mind. I, don't, I gotta watch what I say. I don't, so if that's I don't, the case, I don't like, see because that. I don't see do that. Because, because that just means that you're just too much of a strong, independent woman. He's absolutely right. You, so, you you looking for you looking for insight from somebody outside of your household. Bro. So am I not I, supposed I don't to have a mind of my own mm, at all? Absolutely. That, no, and I'm gonna take into I'm I'm gonna take into consideration what you're saying, but this is a benevolent dictatorship. This is not a democracy. Wait a minute. True. I didn't sign up for a dictatorship. Exactly. Absolutely, you did. Yeah, you and, did. And most of the time, the interesting thing about it is because I did not sign up for a dictatorship. But, but Randy, what you got to understand is that no, most what you got to understand. <laughs> you, you, you absolutely signed up for. <laughs> you, you're distracting the show, madam. I know you want to be funny right now. Stop. The inherent nature of a woman is to lean into her femininity. Yeah. She's not even supposed to have all of these. Listen, he you, said you, you ain't supposed to be able to you, you ain't not. Please stop talking. Oh, no, right. no, 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 oh, no, 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 listen. No, wait, this, I this can't let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on. This is not the C2K. Two K. Listen, two K. Listen, two K. Listen, two K. Listen, you said you said we not. Why should we be able to vote two K? Bro, the Fourteenth Amendment was the the worst amendment out of all. Right, they gave women the right to vote. But first of all, what you voting for a president for? <laughs> Who can send us the war, but you ain't got to go fight. Well, True. actually, technically, right now in the paperwork, it does say that women can be drafted as well. Y'all don't. And I, I was in the military. Y'all don't hit the battlefield. Y'all. Boom. That's crazy. You fucked around, found the right one. You messed up talking to a person who is actually in the military. Y'all don't even. Y'all don't. Y'all don't go out there. They say y'all y'all get drafted, but y'all go do other things. Have you seen the movie Save It Private Ryan? Do you see what happens to grown men on the battlefield? I would you would never be you would never be the same. You'll never be the same. And you gonna have somebody out there with fun bags sitting beside you. Nigga, please. Thank you, brother with the big beard. Thank you. I'm so happy they got you here to check her. I'll do paperwork. Well, somebody got to do it. Huh. Somebody definitely got to do it. Somebody got to keep it organized. But the interesting thing somebody about it is that. Do you want a woman yeah, shooting for you, machine. though? Do I it's want a woman to shoot machine. for me? You might want a woman. He's a simp. Everybody remember that video I did a long time ago. That guy's a simp. Do not pay him and his chain is fake. Shooting for you, we be we be it's on point when it comes to First of all, I'm an expert marksman. Thank you kindly. Hmm. Have been one since 16. Hmm. I got an NRA qualification. Thank you kindly. Anton is disgusting. So you've been shooting niggas since you were 16. I don't remember there being no African Americans or people of color in there. To my recollection, there was only a bunch of niggas. Why are you discussing? <laughs> because because the way that women vote and the way that they think is the reason why this situation is Ooh. turmoil. The way yeah. that is that today. that thing about the oh we're so we are we're emotions we we think with our emotions we move that, with our emotions is that what y'all vote based is off that, of identity? 
No. no the first don't. thing that she, the first thing that Kamala Harris did when she was nominated, uh -huh. or when she was given the role, because she didn't have to debate her way through a primary in order to get to this position in the first place. Yeah. She didn't have to earn it. She was picked for it. Mm -hmm. The first thing that she did was she called on AKAs and the Divine Nine, and then women for. Kamala Harris in order to get her in the office. She didn't give y'all no policy. True. That's she very still true. ain't gave y'all no policy. She ain't she give y'all no policy. No, she You don't know what you're saying. Of dude. course I do. You don't know what of you're saying. Of course I do. You don't know what I you're saying. I do. She hasn't. She's given talking points. She yeah, hasn't given I'm, anything. I cannot she, disagree she, with him on she that. She hasn't given anything tangible friend. that would allow. So you agree with him on that, but you're still gonna vote for her, even though she hasn't gave any policy. What are we doing here? You agree she hasn't gave policies but you're still gonna vote for her can we not all on both sides agree that what she's doing is foolish at least lie to me at least lie to me if that's what we're gonna do that is sad off of y'all to actually benefit and then also if you look at her track record from what it is that she's done first as a district attorney secondly as the vice president is the person that is has different votes as far as the tiebreakers for some of the policies that we have today and then third, as far as what it is that she was tasked with over the last three and a half years, you cannot sit here and tell me that your life is better off over the last three and a half years than it was in 2016 through 2020. My and life so, is for sure. But, but, but here's the thing. Here's My the life thing. Is also no, it's not. Mind. I'm talking about the <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you, retarded? I know you're not retarded. But... What are you, Down syndrome? <laughs> when, 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 I, when, I speak, when I speak... When I speak... You can't stop just yelling. Can you, man? You have a mic right there on you. Stop yelling. What is your problem, man? Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. I walked out. I will walk out. Thank you. <laughs> when I speak, I speak to the majority, not individual right. specific things. So no, the, not, the cost right. of living, not the president. When like, she, she when doesn't she, make the rules. She come absolutely the law and does. There. And the the house is divided. So how does the president get stuff, stuff and policy? She was the tiebreaker with, with, without from having, every single decision that went through as far as the policy. The thing that she was tasked with the most mm -hmm. was making sure that she solved for the things that was coming over into this country that we complaining complaining about today. Like what? Like, for example, Chicago is $1 billion every single year in its fiscal budget in a deficit. Mm -hmm. Largely 700 million of that is going to migrants. Okay. New York, mm -hmm. they cut in sanitation, teachers, and police officers. Mm -hmm. If you look at Denver, migrants has taken over apartment buildings. Go over, it, oh, go over to LA, Oakland is about to file for bankruptcy. Go down in Houston, all of these same mayors, and all of these are ran by black women and black men. Mm -hmm. All of them were signed in the legislation as far as making sure that they align with President Biden and opening up the border, and then they, they come and they messing up y'all city. So we need to elect some white people? Oh. See what I mean? That's fentanyl. Talk this shit. Talk this shit. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Kamala, Kamala, Campbelltoe. She's not even black. I don't like this. I'm getting triggered. Ooh. ooh. You just did the identity thing that he just said to. You literally just did it. It's not about white people. Mm -hmm. It's about the fact that we vote based off of identity. Mm -hmm. We don't vote based off of who has the best policy. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, it's the person that look like you because we so busy focused on making sure that we have somebody that we can identify with as far as what we look like instead of the person that's going to work in your best interest. Well, every negative <clears throat> attribute or whatever you want to call it that comes against us, you can go right back to slavery and see where we got it from. Mm. No, God! No, God, please, no, no. Really? We vote off of identity because that's how it was. Like back in slavery, the guy who had the flashy shit, the black guy who mm -hmm. was free, who he was the only one. He had a piece of land, a piece of property. Oh, did we Django? Did you just say that y'all vote based off our identity? But a little while ago, you said you don't vote based off our identity. Y'all vote based off of identity. No. no. The you can't argue with them. They're liars. Someone note that they're liars. We wanted to be him and we wanted really? to look like him in order, in order for them not to check your papers. You had to look like you had some money. Mm -hmm. We identify with identities from way back into slavery. So we have to, the, the biggest issue that we have right now is educating our young people. Mm -hmm. 
is us educating our young people. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. Right now, we can't fix the older people who are already doing it. Mm -hmm. But we're not reaching out to, to grab the my kids and your kids and saying, look, we got to change the narrative. We yeah. got to change yeah, how this works and how case, we operate. Don't send them to school. Because then. it's so many kids right now who I don't, don't know nothing kids. about voting. Well it's so many all. people my age who right now got 18 and 19 year olds who don't take them to the polls with them. Why not? They don't need to go why to the not? polls if they're not informed yeah, voters. But that's why, but that's just saying, what, she's, what she's saying that's is inform them, inform them, help educate them. Listen, you not even telling me nothing because you don't even understand that the very party that y'all aligned with the most was the party that was actually against black people in the first place. Yeah, but it didn't, no, 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 that's not fair. It, it is yeah, absolutely no, true. Because it, 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 it did a complete flip. It has like, a the Republican Party was a Democratic Party. Democratic Party is a Republican Party. It's not. This is the party that literally tied y'all to the federal government, and that's the. That's the whole idea behind the Democratic Party. The Republican Party is, is not to tell you what you can and can't do. It's to remove government from your choices. Right. The whole idea of it is we're going to allow for you to be able to achieve the American dream. It's not to give you but anything. But meanwhile, the Republican no, 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 Party no, no, no. Wants, to, wants, wants the government to get involved in what I do with my body. It's not. Like, they not want, they want the government. They to. Not true at all. Thank you, madam. Not true at all. Republicans are saying that, hey, yo, man, knock this from down, knock this down to states. And whichever, whichever state says that, Ayo, we cool with sending them little people to the upper room. Move to that state. Just move over there. You do understand that federal is when the government controls everything. State, the people choose what that state does. I'm not even a person who knows about politics like that. And madam, I knew you was wrong. We're moving from you. No, it's not. They so this do. is what happened. They don't. The federal government is saying oversight as far as from a federal perspective should not be in you, your determination for what you can do with your body. Okay, what, so they, what they're saying is, hold on, let me tell you. What they're saying is it should go to the state's level. We shouldn't have no involvement in it. So if your state vote based off of what it is that you do and all of y'all people that go to the polls, whether you're informed or not, if y'all vote that this is what we going to do as far as abortion and women's reproductive rights, then that's the state level. They don't want to be involved in it. They believe in less government. That's a, that's think, a, that's a lie that, that they tell you. I think, I think that, that is... Because y'all want to baby? No, it's not that we want to baby. No, we want to have access to... Don't lie to me! You to, understand that they want to prosecute doctors for saving oh lives from etopic pregnancies and the things that we do go through? Like, so now if you save this woman's life, you go to so jail. So let her die. Uh -oh. Where do they say that? Where do... I want to see where does it say that if a lady is about to go to the upper room and a doctor save her by sending a little person to the upper room, that doctor goes to prison. I need to see where it says this at. You have said so many things that are wrong, uh, Miss Red Glasses, that it blew, it blew my mind. I'm pretty sure you're wearing those glasses just to wear them. Like there is no actual prescription, like anything. I don't even think they, they got the UV, the UV protection. I think you're just wearing them to think you look smart. Like it's it's the wildest thing in the world. She over here looking like a younger version of Salt and Pepper, and she's just saying idiotic things back to back to back. No, but it's that's because that it's that happening that's in Louisiana. That's, that's, that's the truth, though. That's 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 the truth. Truth. But, but no, 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 so what do you have to say? I wanted to say, dude. Okay, with the whole abortion thing, it blew my mind when I found out why they're so against it. So if you look at the numbers on how many women abort their fetuses. The mass majority of women white who have women. abortions are white women. Yes. What's starting to happen is the African-American community. Well, not just African-Americans, other races are starting people to of outnumber color. people of color. Yes. So now in that situation, there is causing them to say no more abortions because if y'all not having babies, we can't grow as a people. Correct. And, and it might sound shady. It might sound crazy and no offense to nobody because I know we have a mixed audience. But truth is truth. And that's what it is. More Caucasian women have abortions. When they don't have their babies, they cannot populate. Then you have mixed breeding with, they, with the white people and the black people, stuff that they don't want to happen. So when you think that, oh, it has something to do with, oh, you shouldn't do it, that's not what it's about at the end of the day. It's the what does this guy do with anything? What, what does this mean? Do you think this conversation is strictly about black women right now? That's what I think she's think this is. I don't know what you think this is. My fault. I might even be wrong about that. What, is, what are you telling me this information for? The fact that they want their population, they want their own race to grow. They, they don't want us superior. to take over. I, I, I'm amazed that y'all are fighting because <laughs> they are literally no, controlling yeah. their emotions over something that you can control yourself. Yeah, that's not the only thing. Hold on, hold on. That's the first time 
Mr. Simp over here ever said anything that wasn't like simp like. I got over a hundred different forms of contraception. That's true. But they're, they're trying, trying to take them. them. I have never. In they're my trying life. to take that. that. No, they're listen. trying to take it. They're, oh they're trying to take birth control. The they're trying to take all of that. The biggest form of contraception that you have is whether or not you want to open up your legs in the That's first right. place. Whoa. As a no. We, 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 listen, Close listen, listen. Coach. She feels so defeated. All the women are getting triggered. And the other thing I want to state is that. First off, madam, it's already been shown now that birth control is a link to, I think, cancer. Them taking that might be a thing of them saying, dang, we messed up. Let's start over. I don't know if it's all, all forms of birth control. I'm very sure the pill version is linked to it. I, I don't need, I have never in my life, never in my life, have I ever needed the federal government to determine whether or not I was gonna have a child out of wedlock? Not one time. That's an exception. That's not. That's not the majority. That's not an exception. No, 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 no. She can no. still be forced to have her. What well, does she need? Sweet better Jesus. parents to, to govern her. She can't. The fact she got off the rape, bus rape, and went home is not she something. Not no, rape and incest is not something that they disagree with on a on the Democratic side or the Republican side. That's an exception. They always have to bring up a tiny percentage. I'm starting to think that women who are perfectly fine going on panels are retarded. I'm starting to think almost 98% of women who are perfectly fine with going on a panel, not the ones on the computer. I give you that. Not the ones on the computer. Going up on a stage and talking are retarded. Stream. We talking to the majority. Aretha Franklin. I have never in my life, since I was a little kid, since I first had started having, ever worried about you having kids. When you was a little kid, I ain't gonna go into that. Since I was, Come since on, I was face young, face. Tell your story. I have never Tell worried story. about the hell. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh Federal my God. government trying to control whether or not I had a kid out of wedlock. So wait, That's so not an issue. Hold on. Hold on. Let's reset. Let's reset. Let's reset. From what I have seen in my research, mm -hmm. they're also trying to control contraceptives and birth control. For someone mm -hmm. like myself, let me get my whole thought out. For someone like myself who is not trying to, I, I'm on birth control, not to prevent having pregnant, well, yeah, for sure to prevent pregnancy because that one and done is for sure, okay? But also because it's like a hormonal therapy for me. Mm -hmm. I, um, you know, with me having fibroids and cysts, they put me on birth control to help balance out what I go through. And since I've been on birth control, I have felt so much better, especially during my cycle. Sorry, TMI, guys, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Women that experience things like fibroids and cysts, when we get on birth control, it literally is a life changer. I was spending 50% of common. my month. Yes, especially in black women. I was spending 50% of my month in the bed sick. When I say in the bed sick, I mean literally cannot move migraines. My friends are literally like, are, are you dying? Are you okay? You feel me? Like that was really going on. So for me now to see that, okay, let's say they don't want to necessarily control everything and they want to put it at a state level. But even the, the option of me knowing that they want, they, they possibly want to take this birth control away from me. And I know what that's going to do to my body and how I'm going to feel and how my body will react to that. That's scary. I've never seen a Republican candidate, it's beyond especially scary. Trump himself, I have not seen him say anything about removing any medication as far as what it is that he's doing. For listen, that, to, that, listen, listen to J.D. Vance a little bit more. He's going to tell, he tell you everything. Right. Right. OK, but you know what? You see how worked up everybody right. just got in this conversation. Y'all see how that went? Mm -hmm. I, my real question is, why do we care so much? I don't care about anything y'all are saying. Big screen. Yep, that was just wild. That was wild. That. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was a terrible host. I thought that she might have been all right. Because last one I seen, she didn't do this. I guess she's getting too comfortable or she's drunk. You can always be that. You could be drunk right now. You, you're just just loud for nothing. And the lady who clearly we all know used to listen to salt and pepper on the right side. It was just wild. She, she's been, she was wrong so many times. It was, it was outstanding. I should have knew, I should have knew she was going to be wrong because her ankles was ashy. Bet you don't go back and see if her ankles is ashy. Go watch. If they not, I've been wrong before. He ain't lying. You can never get me to ever listen to a lady who has that that auntie short style perm haircut thing, red glasses, and like like the old man Nikes on. Like they like they about to go for a walk. You can never get me to listen to them.
She dressed like an auntie that's into aunties. That's what she looked like. My fault. I'm just attacking her. I apologize, madam. You don't need this. You don't need me to do this to you. I apologize. But that host, ooh, I know when a person is under the influence and they're talking. And madam, that was you. Anton did a great job. And I'm so happy he brought the brother with the beard who literally checked the host and said that y'all don't y'all don't go on the battlefield man you get drafted you don't go on the battlefield you need to stop lying stop oh, oh you didn't know what that was oh that doo-doo